After all of the hype surrounding Formula 1's inaugural Miami Grand Prix, the race itself had a lot to live up to. The teams and drivers certainly made a fuss over the Floridian race, introducing colourful merchandise and helmet designs, while the Miami International Autodrome attracted a number of celebrities, but beyond all of the style, was there much of substance? Eh, moving on. The Miami race was certainly a boisterous affair off track, but on it, it was business as usual. Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc battled for victory, Carlos Sainz and Sergio Perez battled for third, and the Mercedes duo occupied the no-man's land area between the front runners and the rest of the field. As apart from Valtteri Bottas, who proved to be a thorn in the side of his former team before a turn 17 slip let the silver cars trickle through. Although most teams seemed to be waiting for the Spanish Grand Prix to tack new updates onto the car, Mercedes took a slightly different approach for the race in Miami. In a bid to reignite its fortunes after a rough start to 2022, Mercedes introduced a new front wing that took a different approach to the new end plate regulations. As the new rule states that the wing elements must merge directly into the end plate, Mercedes has ensured that its new wing remains in conformity with the regulations, but has also been able to sweep the attachment points forward, leaving an open cut at the rear of the end plate. This, Mercedes said in its pre-event technical notes, improves front wing efficiency by reducing the pressure difference between the top and bottom surfaces at the wing tip, suggesting that it's been able to reduce the induced drag of the front wing. In having cut out the end plate, it also potentially gives the team license to allow airflow to be pushed outwards, developing the outwash effect in the front wing that has become unanimously popular in the previous rule set. This will in turn boost the performance of the other aerodynamic devices further down the car, as it helps to tune down the amount of turbulence produced by the front tyres. Two little slots on the outer edge of the rearmost wing flap will help to direct and guide that airflow outwards to where Mercedes needs it to be. Mercedes also introduced a new lower drag rear wing and beam wing, aiming to further improve its acceleration on the straights, having apparently been set back by a draggy W13 in the opening rounds. This was decked out in a particularly colourful scheme as teams leaned into the bright blue and pink hues associated with Miami, as Mercedes looked to buy into Miami's long straights and collect more top speed. The wing now features a more straight edge main plane to cut back on any superfluous downforce, while the upper wing element could lean at a lower angle of attack compared to the higher downforce variant. The beam wing features shorter cord wing elements to further facilitate the cutback in drag and downforce, as Mercedes circuit simulations show that there was enough of dearth in high speed corners to forsake the required downforce. The team kept the lower downforce parts on beyond practice, having hinted at good pace early on in the weekend, as George Russell headed FP2 but the Brit dropped out in Q2, although Lewis Hamilton made it onto 6th on the grid. Although the update cemented Mercedes' place as best for the rest, Russell recovering to 5th ahead of Hamilton, the team has a way to go to get on terms with Red Bull and Ferrari. Regardless, the flashes of pace will have given Mercedes a little bit of hope, adding a little bit more straight line speed having struggled for top-end performance so far in 2022. Meanwhile, both Ferrari and Haas introduced changes to their rear wing geometries to also further extract a little more top speed from the car but the Ferrari was still susceptible to the considerable top speed advantage that the Red Bull car has, ultimately stacking the odds in Max Verstappen's favour. The heat was another issue that the teams had to battle with, as Miami proved particularly sweltering across the weekend. Williams and Alfa Romeo introduced revised cooling louvers on top of the side pod to improve the volume of air being expelled from the car, taking the excess heat out with it. Next up on the agenda, Formula 1 has a far more familiar circuit to contend with, as Barcelona hosts the Spanish Grand Prix. That usually comes with a variety of new upgrades, as it's usually a lot easier and cheaper to drive additional cargo through Europe, plus the endless testing at the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya gives the teams plenty of track data to work with, and it will probably be less of a cringeworthy affair overall.